The world is facing numerous challenges, among which are skyrocketing inflation, rising interest rates and distressed economies that are hampering donor countries' ability to invest government resources to bridge the infrastructure gap. We've got more than 200 borders that lay underdeveloped. We're lucky that the seven we've done here in Uganda are working well. But think, if I was to challenge you to move goods from here by land to Accra, it's a pretty tough thing to do. So we see that practical application of capital where there's just not enough donor finance to do it. We can, we can raise um, resources within the continent for the continent. So TCA will play an important role in preparing those projects and bringing them to, to the market for DFI investment. Reacting to the media concerns on the future of Trademark East Africa's infrastructure development financing, Frank Matsat, the outgoing chief executive officer, said the organization may adopt concessional financing, which he believes can unlock the potential of commercial capital. What we're, what we're looking at is um, basically concessional finance, okay? Uh, so we're not talking about really hardcore commercial finance, uh, you know, the, the kind of interest rates that some banks charge. We'll be looking at foreign-based loans, okay, in, in hard currency. With the initial pilot programs, we're talking about a 10% coupon broadly. This was at the Trademark East Africa National Oversight Committee, NOC for Uganda, which was attended by government officials and donors involved in the Temea trade facilitation activities. I think for us that has been a big plus with the relationship we have enjoyed with Trademark and we shall continue enjoying with Trademark. And for that we want to thank uh, the CEO for, for that approach. We have enjoyed it, we define what we want, they fund and then we go ahead and implement. The National Oversight Committee gave a detailed status on all outgoing projects, indicating that Gulu Logistics Hub Phase 1 has been completed, Doroko Lake Port construction progress at 93%, and Goli Mahiga one-stop border post at 56%. Denis Igor and Charlotte Amuge for UBC News.